In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this glow effect on a car in DaVinci Resolve. The first step of this effect is to open your clip in the color page. Mask out one of the grills. Click on the small plus pen tool button and mask out the other grill. Track the mask and fix the mistracked points by pressing on this frame button and fixing them manually. Disable this mask and enable the other one. Track that mask too and fix the poorly tracked points. After that, enable both of the masks and add alpha output in the node section. Copy the layer and press D to disable the copied one. Remove the masks from this layer. Good. Now you can enable the layer by pressing D again. Compound clip the layer and open it in the fusion page. Press shift plus spacebar and search for glow. Change the apply mode to threshold. Play around with the settings until you get a similar result as I do. Click on Color Scale to change the color. After you are done with the glow, click on this icon to add a rectangle. Change the width and height until it's only a little bit larger than the grill. Then, keyframe center and place some keyframes throughout the video. Don't change any values. After you are done, go to the first frame and bring center Y all the way down. Then go between all the keyframes you just made and move the center down. If you have a song, make sure to sync it to the beat. Finally, soften the edge a little bit. Open the spline window and select the correct graph. Click here to see the whole graph. Highlight the keyframes two at a time and press S on your keyboard to smooth them out. Once you are satisfied with the timing, copy the nodes. Bring up glow size to make the grill more glowy. Now it looks good. Now for the splitter. Disable the upper clip and open the lower one in Fusion. Add glow and take it off the line for now. Also, drag a polygon. Find a good line from the car and make draw a mask. Now you can connect the nodes to the line. Uncheck solid and increase the border width. Also increase the soft edge. Click on the glow node and change the apply mode to threshold. Change the settings until you like how the glow looks. For this step, you can disconnect the nodes again. Go through the video and adjust the polygon so it stays on the splitter. Make some more keyframes too so we can use them when animating the line. I'll go with six. Go between the keyframes and shorten the line like I do.
Now do some final adjustments until you are fully satisfied with it. That's basically it.